Hello and welcome to Wager on Tilt everyone, I am T and today I want to continue the walkthrough on Python. Now previously we walked through how do you install Python, what are the basics of Python. Now today we're going to actually show how to load data into Python. In the past we've always worked with spreadsheets like Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel and things like that. I'm going to try and keep it very similar to that, that way you don't have to just scrap all that data. Um, you don't have to worry about trying to put it into a data frame and then manipulate the data later, things like that. All right, so let's jump in and get our data loaded. We're going to be using a spreadsheet that is a CSV file. And as always, wherever this file is located, this pi file, you're going to want your CSV file in the same folder for this call to work. So I'm going to show an example of some data. So right here, you can go ahead and see we have the quarterback, we have a date, we have a whole bunch of other information, different stats. So this is a quarterback file. And in here, it's just quarterback data that is spread throughout all the players that are QBs in the NFL. So at the end of this file, we have weighted numbers uh, to bring into account, right, that the 2018 season does not play the same way as a 2019 or a 2020 or a 2021. So I've gone ahead and created this data file in a CSV, which is again, very simplistic. You put it into a spreadsheet and you save as CSV. Uh, CSVs are comma delimited, so be aware of that, that if you try and reopen the file and edit, you're going to potentially run into some issues because you're gonna have to do text to columns based on a comma, and if in the data point itself you have a comma, it's not gonna separate right. But we've gone through this stuff on other videos, so again, it's very similar. Just save it as a CSV. Previously, I said that you want to use pandas and that you needed to go ahead and pip install pandas. So now that we have that actually installed, I'm going to be able to call it for uh, my Python file to use it. So I'll say import pandas as pd. So again, I'm just shortening it. I don't want to keep writing pandas over and over and over. So I just put it as pd. You'll see that it did gray out. It grays out if it is not being called. Python wants to be intelligent and help you. So it's saying, hey, you're not actually using pandas right now. So I'm just going to close this code out and you're not using it because that way it's not wasting space. However, if we do want to import this data, right, let's just say I'm going to call the file QB data, right? That's what I'm going to call it. And then I'm going to set it to the actual file. So we'll say PD, which is short for pandas again, dot read CSV. And then when we put in parentheses and quotes is going to be the actual file name. So I'm going to say parentheses quote QB data and then see again the helper text sees the file in the folder and is asking if I want to use that and I'll just say yes so what this is gonna do is go ahead and read this in and it's gonna say great we're gonna prep the data so if I were to run this pretty much nothing's gonna happen it's just gonna end the code and say yep we loaded data we're good to read it and that's it so the next step though is that we want to try and set a variable so I'm just gonna say QB selected so for the QB selected, I'm going to do Patrick Mahomes and if he is away. So here I'm going to type in Patrick Mahomes and then I use the at sign to signify that he is away. This is based on how I set up my CSV and the primary key to uh, signify whether Patrick Mahomes was home or away. You may not have this in your file set up the way that I do. So you'll just want to be sure that you set this variable um, to a string that matches your data. So again, any record where Patrick Mahomes was away, this is what my primary key would look like. It would just say Patrick Mahomes at. So now that we have that string set up, we're saying that is gonna be the QB selected. Now I wanna go ahead and actually locate the rows in which this QB exists. So in order to do that, um, next we'll just say QB row, or you could say rows equals and you'll say QB data. Now what that is for is because we set up the CSV file to just be referenced now as QB data. So in VBA, we would call it a worksheet, but here it's just this entire CSV is stashed away in QB data. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put dot LOC, and then I'll put bracket parenthesis QB data. And then I'm gonna need to put in my primary key that it's searching through mixed key is what I call mine so that's again with me mixing a name and whether they're home or away or at a neutral site so I'll add the mixed key 
then I need to say that it is equivalent to QB selected. So again, the double equals here means equivalency, whereas a single equal signs is an assignment. So whereas QB selected is being assigned the value of Patrick Mahomes at, here I'm saying select in this CSV file the location of this data where mixed key is equivalent to the variable QB selected, which then again is Patrick Mahomes at. So this way I can pass this value through. If you don't want to set it up as a variable, you would just literally put the string in here and it'll go ahead and look for that information. So now this is going to find those rows where Patrick Mahomes exists. So setting the data this way, it will now fetch all of the data rows where Patrick Mahomes was away. So now with this, you can actually start slicing and dicing some of the data. So um, let's go ahead and import NumPy. Import NumPy as NP. Again, just make it shorthand. So using this data file, now what I want to do is go ahead and find the median of his yards per attempt. So I would say QB median yards attempt is yards attempt is equal to and then I'll just say NP right numpy dot median and then again the helper text pops up and tries to guide you median and then from here I'm just gonna go ahead and put parenthesis QB row and then I'm gonna put in whatever that column header is because then it knows which one to grab Oops, rows so QB rows references within this row. So again, let's walk through this one more time. I imported pandas, I imported numpy, I set those both as a shorthand value. I'm gonna set a variable called QB data equal to pandas reading in my CSV file. So now the data is loaded. Then I'm gonna set my QB selected variable equal to a string that is a primary key to look up within my CSV file. So any record where Patrick Mahomes was in a way game. Then I'm gonna say great. I'm gonna set all of the quarterback rows that I wanna evaluate equal to the QB data file, right? Which we already set up here. The location, which is gonna then have the QB data and we're gonna be looking for a mixed column. Okay, so the mixed key is my column of this string. Again, quarterback name, whether they're home or away. And then it's gonna be equivalent to the quarterback selected, again, which is this string. From there, it will find all those rows. Then I wanna go ahead and find the median. So I just set up another variable called QB median yards attempt equals, because we're gonna pass the value in, NP for NumPy, median, and then I need to reference the data file and the column that I'm looking for. So the last thing that we need to do is print this stuff so that we can read it. Now this is a number, so printing usually only works with strings, but we can convert this to a string pretty simply. We'll just say print, and then I'll put in some text that says yards per attempt, and then add a space inside the string. Then I'll add a space, hit the plus sign, and then type in str, which is for string, and then I'll pass in the value for the QB median yards attempt. Now when I run this, it's gonna go ahead and generate this number and then print it out with the words yards per attempt before it. And then right here, this is just a typo that I need to get rid of, this uh, extra bracket. It moved when I was messing around earlier. So now that that is gone, let me go ahead and shift the screens. All right, so I've gone ahead and run that. And again, yards per attempt, the median from the data file that I loaded in there, which is missing a lot of data, when he is away, is 8.55 yards per attempt. So I'll go ahead and run it again so that you can see how rapidly this works. So it's pulling in the file, it's running, it's calculating, and then it's gonna spit the number out for me. So this is a really easy way to go ahead and start importing data quickly. If you know how to deal with a database and you wanna pass that in and plug it in, go for it, that works just as well. Um, I'm just not doing that here because I don't want to have to get into explaining how to set up a database, um, put the data in, manage the DB. So in this, you can now start doing different ways of manipulating the data through Python um, from a CSV file. 
Now, one of the things though that you need to remember is just like in VBA, go ahead and open up the Excel file one more time. So when we're looking at this, notice how I have it all sorted by the quarterback um, and by whether it's away or not. If you don't have the data properly sorted when you import it into Python, it will not give you proper calculations because again, it's trying to find the data sets. So here it would understand, oh, these are all Baker Mayfield away. However, if I had this sorted by date, Carson Wentz might get in there and then we're gonna have some issues with the data. Um, it's usually easier just to make sure it's sorted off of a specific primary key that you wanna use. And again, for me, I was just using in this example, the player and whether they are home or away. So this is how we're gonna be doing it moving forward. I'm going to be reading in a CSV using pandas. We'll be using other libraries and packages to go ahead and do more data analysis. But just to get the data in, I chose to do it this way. We're not doing data frames. We're not gonna go ahead and use databases. We're just gonna use spreadsheets because again, everything in the past was driven off spreadsheets. So I wanna try and keep it consistent. And then that way you just load the file again. As another warning, a CSV is a comma delimited. So if you have commas in your data, it could cause some problems. You might wanna go ahead and modify the way your data is written. In this video, I also talked about the mixed key. The mixed key is merely a way for me to put a player's name with whether they are home or they're away. And then that way I can actually track which ones I need to use to pull in. Again, in the example, um, I'm using Patrick Mahomes and he's away. That way I can find all the away games that Patrick Mahomes has played. You can call it mixed key, you can call it whatever you want. Whatever the header of that column is gonna be is what you wanna put into the quotes for when you're pulling in the data. If you do like the content that I am providing, feel free to subscribe or share with your friends. Uh, the more people we get into a community of building models, whether it's in Excel, Google Sheets, with VBA, with Python, the better, because then you start getting people talking about how they do things and why they do things, and it expands on your own creativity for modeling. If you have any questions on what we went over today, you can drop a comment, you can reach me on Twitter at Wagered on Tilt, or you can also reach me at The T in the Unabated Discord. So that is it, so until next time, happy wagering.